It feels absolutely amazing to be sitting here without any contract hold-ins, hold-outs, disputes, disgruntlements, anything to talk about. If I don't even know what to do with my hands. What do I do with them? I, I have no idea. Do they stay up here? I don't know because it's all we've talked about for the entire summer, and it just feels amazing that it's gone. It's washed away. Just uh, amazing. Like literally, you know, the saying water under a bridge is what it feels like. It's it's beneath us. It's below us. It's behind us. <sighs> feels good. I feel that 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 sigh of relief <sighs> feels amazing. And one of the reasons why it does feel amazing is because of the quality of players that the 49ers were able to retain. Obviously, Trent Williams, I think we all agree, is the most important. And with what he brings to the table, just not only from what he does on the field as the 49ers left tackle, but just what he means to this locker room. And what I love about this situation, and, and Tom Brady is going to be talking about Trent Williams and what his view of Trent Williams is, it's really, it's really refreshing to hear, honestly, from Tom Brady. And so I know a lot of people, I wouldn't say a lot, I would say some people were starting to question Trent's worth and it was a small group, but I saw it. So when you hear Tom Brady come on and talk about Trent Williams, it, it makes you feel even better about it. So take a listen as Trent. So take a listen as Tom Brady reacts to the Trent Williams signing. If you knew you had Trent Williams and he didn't play, would it get in your head? I think his signing is gigantic for the Niners. You tell me how much it matters. Yeah. I would be driving him to work every day if I was the quarterback. <laughs> I'd be making sure Trent was with me every single place I went. There's no better protector in the NFL than Trent over the years. And I think the way they use him, and obviously they, I think San Francisco's run game is incredible, the way they scheme their run game up. But having Trent in there, it's just an entirely different offense because of his athleticism, his rare combination of size, of quickness, of power. I mean, he's just, when he gets out there on the field, he's uh -huh. a... He's a matchup advantage for the Niners every time that he takes a snap out there. So when they have him out there, they all feel confident. A lot of those plays are going to go to the left side of the line of scrimmage right behind him. They know that when he's in pass protection, he's going to hold up as well as anybody. It doesn't really matter who he goes against. Uh, he's a tremendous player. And it's Niners had, you know, between the AU signing and, and Trent, I mean, that was a little worrisome a few weeks ago. I actually did a practice game. Uh, in against the Saints up in Santa Clara a couple weeks ago. And, and everyone was a bit concerned, but I think now a lot of those concerns are eased when both those guys are back in the building and ready to take their, put their pads on, go out to practice and get ready to play. Everything that Tom had to say, I love when he's like, man, I would take that guy everywhere with me. Um, he would not leave my side. And as you should, he would protect you everywhere you go because that's what Trent Williams does. He is the elite protector in this league and now brock purdy you know just like tom is talking about like how he kind of views trent and what he means to the team can you imagine how brock purdy feels brock purdy is probably the most ecstatic out of anyone inside that building other than trent that trent williams is back just knowing the confidence that you have arguably the best tackle to ever play the game on your blind side as you continue to try to develop in your career and get better and need time to get the ball out. And again, also too, on top of that, you get your wide receiver, Brandon Ayuk back. Obviously those guys are big winners, but Brock Purdy might be one of the biggest winners of all of these contract disputes because obviously they directly impact his ability on how to be a quarterback on the offense. So with Trent Williams, it's just amazing to hear, you know, Tom Brady, talk about it. Tom Brady right now, his words carry a lot of weight considering what he's able been able to accomplish in this league. And so when Tom says something, we typically kind of lean in and, and listen to what he has to say. Uh, you get that respect when you win as many championships as he has. So uh, I thought I loved what he had to say. I, I loved the respect that he heaped on Trent Williams. I, I've I've been one of those people who have really tried to properly quantify how good Trent Williams is. A lot of people early on 
accuse me of homerism and bias. Um, but I think as the years have progressed, people are starting to understand how good he is. I have a story about that. I won't name his name. He's a former player, a former like great player. Um, I was on Instagram Live when the trade had went down because uh, it was around the draft, I believe it was. So I was on I was on Instagram Live. You know, players would pop in every once in a while. And, you know, again, this was a former legend. who's won Super Bowls with the San Francisco 49ers. And we were talking about the transition from Joe Staley to Trent Williams. And I love Joe Staley. Joe Staley is one of my favorite players. You know, he's up there at the top with all the legends, in my opinion, just from a personal standpoint. And I was like, this might sound crazy or it might not, but I really do think the 49ers just upgraded their tackle position. Because Joe Staley had just retired. They make the trade for Trent Williams. Obviously, how it happened was they traded for Trent. And then immediately after that, after that, that's when Staley announced his retirement. They kind of kept it under wraps so that they could get that deal done. And so I was talking about that. I was like, I can't believe, I'm, and I believe Joe Staley is a Hall of Fame caliber player. I was like, I can't believe the 49ers just probably upgraded at offensive tackle. And he was like, you are crazy. <laughs> Again, I'm not going to name his name. He's a great guy. Uh, we got nothing but respect for each other. But he's like, are you, you're you crazy if you think we, the 49ers upgraded over Joe Staley. And I was like, I, I, that's how this is what it looks. That's how I see it. It's what the tape says. And again, that's not a shot at Joe. Joe's amazing. Joe's phenomenal. Joe's the legend. Um, and, and it wasn't meant to be a shot. It wasn't directed as a shot. It was just objectively looking at it and it's like, I think Trent Williams is better than Joe Staley, which uh, I think has proven to be true. I, although I understand in real time that could be like, it felt almost sacrilegious to say that because Joe's a 49ers legend, uh, probably one of the most beloved uh, 49ers players of his era, uh, just He's a great, great player. So it wasn't meant to be like that. It was just objectively about the players. I was like, yeah, I think Trent, I think the 49ers might have upgraded their offensive tackle position because that's wild, right? To go from Joe Staley to Trent Williams um, and get better at the position. It, it's really unheard of uh, in a lot of instances. So it's honestly still, I believe, the best, arguably the best move that the 49ers have made, uh, you know, obviously Christian McCaffrey's involved in that um, conversation, uh, a best move of all time for the Kyle and John regime. But I, I definitely think that, you know, when you think about what they got for Trent, I think it was like a, a third round pick, maybe a fit with an additional future fifth. I believe it was something like that. I can't even remember. It wasn't anything substantial. And it's been just, it's been fantastic to see Trent thrive with this team, thrive in this locker room. He means so much to the locker room. Uh, it's, he's really the alpha. He's the guy. He's that guy uh, with the San Francisco 49ers. So it makes me happy that he's back. Uh, and I love hearing what Tom had to say. What do you guys think about that? Am I crazy for back then even thinking that Joe Staley and Trent was an upgrade over him. Should I have not said that? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.